And I believe our best times are just ahead of us now. We are pointing the way to a better way of running things, a different way of running things, a vision with people at its heart. That's the Greater Manchester way. At a time when the country has been going backwards, we have had to work hard to keep Greater Manchester powering forwards, but we've done it. We've done it. Our economy has been growing faster than the UK economy in recent years, and it's predicted to continue to do so in the years ahead. You only have to look at the skyline of our city region to see the confidence that people have in this place. A bed every night is our commitment and it will remain our commitment. I will continue to donate 15% of my own salary if re-elected as mayor to support a bed every night as I have done in every single month of the last seven years. The big promise I made at the last mayoral election was to put our buses back under public control after 40 years of disastrous Tory deregulation of buses. 40 years when fares went up, routes were cut, passenger numbers fell. We pledged together to turn that around. And although it's been hard in a three-year mayoral term, we have done it. The B network is now in operation covering over 50% of our city region. And last week, we've let the final contract so that uh, it will come to the south of Greater Manchester in January next year. In the next mayoral term, we will accelerate the integration of commuter rail into the B network such that we bring in eight commuter rail lines into the B network within the next mayoral term. Look at how Westminster has run our trains. Look at the chaos that people have to go through every day. Isn't it about time that people here can trust the trains, have a railway too that is run for people and not for profit? That's our commitment. That is the vision that we are putting forward, backed by a Labour government, hopefully that will be there soon, committed to the renationalisation of our railway. We are going to make sure that our residents, particularly those on the lowest incomes, can get the discount that comes when you can afford to buy up front. Why should that only be available to people who've got enough disposable income to get that discount? That should be available to everybody. So if people will commit to an annual B network pass through the credit union, we are going to make sure that they can pay for it through interest-free weekly payments so that everyone, all of our residents, gets the benefit of the B network working with our credit unions. Three new big ideas for a new term. Greater Manchester Housing First, GM Housing First, GM Live Well, and the Greater Manchester Baccalaureate, the MBAC. If re-elected, I will declare Greater Manchester the UK's first, the UK's first housing first city region. What does that mean? It means together we set a new mission to fix the housing crisis within the next 15 years. And we bring the same energy that we've brought to the reform of public transport to improving housing for every single person who lives in Greater Manchester. So we will bring in a Greater Manchester Good Landlord Charter.